Governor, could you ever envision Donald Trump being that nominee, and could you support him? I don't think it's going to happen. I think uh, over time, uh, the the uh, Republican Party will select substance over over style and showmanship. All right. Well, welcome back, everybody. That was then. This is now John Sununu. Uh, not a fan of Donald Trump then. Many were not. Now endorsing Donald Trump. Uh, I guess, uh, Governor, because I think you had indicated beat the alternative. <laughs> Sure, embarrass me with all those old quotes, yeah. Neil. How are you? You should see what they pull up on me. Uh, no, what, obviously, you know, you are part of, the, and I know right. you hate the term, the establishment, all that. They talk the Bush family still bristles at the notion of, of President Trump. But uh, I think, first and foremost, you kind of were saying, look, I'm a Republican. He's our nominee, Oops. right? Hillary Clinton makes it easy for me to endorse Donald Trump. And, and the, it's, it's based on the alternative, and the alternative's a disaster. Look, in spite of your audio, uh, Hillary Clinton, with her support of the Democratic platform, uh, has moved to the socialist side of the, of the Democratic Party, with Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren uh, being her favorite surrogates. Yeah, what do you make of that? Uh, now, the, not, the audio itself, that she has now taken on yeah. a lot of those positions, she was kind of... Um, ripping at that fundraising event. Do you think it's going to get the same attention Mitt Romney's 47 percent video got? Probably not, but to me the most important thing is that she's now espousing socialist principles. And the, and the middle of America, the independent voters, the voters that really determine what's going to happen, uh, should understand that that's what it is. You know, we seem to be afraid to use the word socialism uh, in, in terms of defining somebody's position, but this is what it is. Free college tuition, uh, uh, health care being fully controlled by the government, all those things that you, you talked about in the last segment are, are, are basically the, the slippery slope to socialism. But there's a second issue that I think is important to put in a slightly different perspective than, than folks have put it in, and that's this immunity. You have to understand what the immunity says. Her two closest aides, total of five of her inner circle, were so afraid of, of criminal prosecution and their lawyers told them that they were liable for criminal acts, that they went and asked for immunity. So to me, the, the, the asking for and accepting immunity by her inner circle is an acknowledgement that Mrs. Clinton organized a criminal activity. Now, they say that they, a lot of these people granted immunity because they might stumble over, you know, a classified information. You say that's bogus. That, that's bogus. Ask any lawyer okay. why he asked for immunity for their client. Um, let me switch gears a little bit. Uh, I know you're still tight with the Bush family. Uh, there were some headlines raised when, when we got word that Bush Sr., uh, President Bush Sr., was going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Um, was that true? Is that true? Look, I wasn't at that event. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not privy to what uh, the president's position is, but I will tell you this, for, for Kennedy Townsend to, uh, to reveal what, what might have been part of a private conversation at a private event uh, just shows you how desperate the Democrats are to play all kinds of games. We should stress there were other people at the same event who were in earshot of that brief meeting the two of them had, uh, Kathleen Kennedy Townsend, and did not hear him say anything. That's correct. But, but having said that, they, the, the Bush family is still, you know, kind of standoffish with, with Mr. Trump. If he became president, got elected president, could reverse some of these polls, how would they be with him? What, what do you think? Look, uh, you're talking about a family that, that I think uh, understands the, the difficulty and the importance of having support for the President of the United States. And, and I think no matter who it is, uh, the Bush family will honor their commitment to the country and, and be as helpful as they can to whomever gets elected President of the United States. John Sununu, always a pleasure. Be well. Nice to have you back, Neil. Welcome to the Zipper Club. There you go. And I, I, I want to thank you, by the way, for, for a very nice letter. And it was actually a kind of zinger letter, but I appreciated it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Governor, uh, you're a good man. I appreciate it. Be well. Thank you. Governor Johnson.